Hello, and welcome to the third lesson um, of Circle of Grace for um, our middle schoolers, for Roots. Um, so just a refresh and a review. Our first lesson, we talked a lot about ourselves. Um, we've been talking about puzzles this whole time, which is really exciting for me because I love puzzles. So I've got one of my puzzles here that I've had the whole time. Our first lesson we talked about um, ourselves, our own um, piece. We decorated a puzzle piece that kind of represented who we were. We talked about um, just like a puzzle piece, each one is different. It's a different shape, it's a different color. Um, it's very unique and that's important and good. It's those differences. Um, that really make us who we are and are so valuable. And um, the fact that each piece is valuable. You can't finish a puzzle. Um, hopefully some of you have, underst have uh, understood the pain, uh, like I've also felt, of working so hard on a puzzle only to realize that you're missing a piece or two pieces. Um, my dog loves to eat puzzle pieces. He's sitting right here today. Um, so I'm actually surprised he hasn't tried to like eat this out of my hand. So it's really sad. <laughs> it happens a lot in our house and it's really sad when you finish a puzzle and there's a piece missing. All that to say, you, each of us, you, are so important and valuable and needed for the community around you where, where these relationships um, connect with you. Um, you're so needed in your community, in this world. Um, the place, the way God's created you is, um, is a certain way so that you fit in. Sometimes it doesn't feel like that. Sometimes you can go years and years feeling like you haven't found those places where you connect and where you fit in. Um, I hope that you feel like you have at least one connection here at Roots um, with your church family. You are all very valuable and needed for me and the connection that we have and our relationship. Um, so I hope at the very least you all feel that and you feel it from your parents and from your family. Anyway, all that to say, first lesson, it was about you and your boundaries and your space. And then this class called Circle of Grace. So that space around you, your body and the space that it uh, has in this world. Okay, our second one, our second class was about um, other people. So how your piece uh, connects to the people around you. So we started talking about that community. We started talking about that whole puzzle, kind of representing um, in a way the kingdom of God, which is why I was using my castle puzzle, because um, it reminds me of a kingdom. Um, so our place in the kingdom of God. And then today, I have I was gonna maybe try and put these together, um, but I don't wanna uh, I don't wanna spend all that time trying to figure out how they go back together. Um, but I have more of that same part of the puzzle. Today, I wanna talk specifically about where where these pieces meet each other. Um, so where these relationships connect, and um, and why that's important. We talked a little bit. I think it was our first lesson about the fact that it's important that puzzle pieces have a place where they start and end and that their, um, their spaces, these connections are like clear and defined um, because if this part was like soft or you know made of, I don't know, jello, like soft jello or water even any kind of liquid, it wouldn't work. Um, that's, that's the point of a puzzle. Um, <laughs> water can never form a puzzle unless it's water that's put into a boundary. Um, you need those boundaries. They're so important. You need them to maintain the, the identity of a single piece. You need them to maintain the identity of the whole puzzle, the whole community. Um, can you imagine what would happen if you don't have these clear um, outlines for these pieces? The puzzle wouldn't exist anymore. It wouldn't be a puzzle. 
So um, we're going to kind of take that picture and that image and um, bring it back to how it relates to real life, to us and how we interact with other people. And all that to say, um, there's not going to be a ton more that I'm going to say about this because I'd like you to spend some time with your parents. Um, going through today's activity is more about looking at um, individual scenarios. So you'll be reading through some of these scenarios of situations where you connect with other people. Sometimes these connections are great and they're good. Hopefully most of the time these connections are great and they're good and they make you feel good and they benefit you as your own piece and they be benefit the whole puzzle. Um, sometimes these connections don't go great and um, maybe you're connecting two pieces that just should not connect or they're connecting in a way that's that's not right or not beneficial for the whole community. So you're going to be reading through um, thinking about some of these scenarios and I hope that you're able to really think about them and really kind of talk about them and wonder about them um, because none of these scenarios are are going to be like super easy, black and white, um, right is right and wrong, wrong is wrong. You guys are starting to realize um, that that's really not necessarily how the world is. So I want you to feel like you have the space to be able to talk about it and wonder about it um, and really think it through. Um, so push yourself to go beyond just uh, yes or no or right or wrong and do a little extra talking and thinking. So while we're here yet together in this video, I have, um, today I have just kind of a little bit of a meditation. So I don't know if uh, many of you have done something like this before. Um, it might feel weird. I would say just try it. Um, there's, you know, what's the worst that could happen? Um, it can just be kind of nice to take some time to be very intentional about just a little bit of quiet thinking time. Um, so we're going to have just a little bit of meditation and then I'm just going to um, send you out um, with that meditation to kind of think about these scenarios. Think about the way that you connect with the people around you in your world and, um, and why, why we need those connections to be positive. Um, instead of negative, why we need them to build you up and your person and who you are and why we need them to build up the whole community around you. Think about the impact that you have on your siblings, on your friends, on your Anamkaras even, on all these people um, who, are in your, who are in your puzzle, who are in your space. So we're going to do this, um, this meditation. Uh, they call it a quiet prayer. So I'm going to kind of guide you through it, but this is really just a prayer between you and God, you and Jesus. Um, so put down everything or anything, try to kind of clear, give yourself um, a little bit of space where there isn't anything there, there isn't any distractions. Sit or even lie down in a way that's comfortable. You don't have to be actually looking at me for this video, you just need to be able to hear. Um, so, because I want you to close your eyes. <laughs> so close your eyes. And imagine that you're um, in a place that feels really safe. So if you can imagine a place you've been before that's been very safe or create a new place in your head that feels very safe. So we've been talking about feelings. Keep your eyes closed during this time. And how our feelings can be signals from God to help us understand what's going on inside ourselves and what's going on in our lives. And it's important not to ignore those feelings. It's important not to let them control us, but it's important not to ignore them either because they can help us know when we're safe and when we're not. They can help us know when we've been respected or when we've been hurt or when we're being valued and loved. And they can help us know who is trustworthy, who's worth having these connections with. So I want you to take a moment, we're just going to practice um, just noticing any of our feelings that we're having right now. So don't try and change how you're feeling, just notice them. Maybe there's an excitement, maybe there's worry or anger, maybe there's happiness or sadness 
or maybe it's something that you don't really know how to describe or name. You might have more than one feeling at a time. That is normal. You may have feelings that you don't understand or are confusing. That's normal too. Just hold those feelings as valuable signals about what's going on within you right now. And then imagine that your hands are kind of just holding all of those feelings. Now picture Jesus or God walking up to you. He's here to help you hold those feelings, to help you know what to do with them and how to deal with them. So he puts his hands under yours very gently. He looks at you and you know deep in your heart that he really cares about you and he wants what is best for you. In the silence of your heart, let yourself share with him whatever you would like to say about your feelings. And then listen to what he says to you in return. We're going to have a few minutes of quiet, give a little space for that, and then we'll close it up for today. I will be praying for you as you read through and talk about and discuss these scenarios and you think about your connection with the people around you and um, I'll send you out may the Lord bless you and keep you may his face shine upon you and give you his peace